It's time to step up, prep up. Step up, prep up. To help keep you free from the risk of HIV. From the makers of Truvada, there's another prep option. Discovi for prep. A once daily prescription medicine that helps lower the chances of getting HIV through sex. It's not for everyone. Discovi for prep has not been studied in people assigned female at birth. Talk to your doctor to find out if it's right for you. Step up for health and body. Prep up for your one and only love, or many loves. For kings, this queen, and you royals in between. For my now. Our now. And my future. Our future. Step up, prep up. Discovi is another way to prep. Discovi does not prevent other sexually transmitted infections, so it's important to use safer sex practices and get tested regularly. You must be HIV negative to take Discovi for prep, so you need to get tested for HIV immediately before and at least every three months while taking it. If you think you were exposed to HIV or have flu-like symptoms, tell your doctor right away. They may check to confirm you are still HIV negative. Serious side effects can occur, including kidney problems and kidney failure. Rare life-threatening side effects include a buildup of lactic acid and liver problems. The most common side effect was diarrhea. Tell your doctor about all the medicines and supplements you take, or if you have kidney or liver problems, including hepatitis. If you have hepatitis B, do not stop taking Discovy without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about your risk of HIV, and if Discovy for PrEP is right for you. Words are loud, but actions are louder. Step up. PrEP up. With Discovy for PrEP. Get help paying for Discovy for PrEP. Learn more at stepupprepup.com. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison. That's right. T.S. Madison. It's me. <laughs> and the folks over there at Patrick Ian Polk Entertainment has asked me to read this small disclaimer before tonight's episode. You ready? Head go. The opinions expressed here in this episode are that of fictional characters. I know some of us have really gotten caught up in the whole Wade and Alex and whoop the doo but these are fictional characters written by the brilliant Patrick Ian Polk. Personally, we love everybody referenced here. Well, with the exception of that orange Cheeto child. If you don't know who that is, he lives at 1600 Black Lives Matter Wade. Yeah, I said it. Ah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> we hope that you take this in the good nature that it's intended to be. During these crazy times, we must not lose the ability to laugh at ourselves. Now with that being said, I hope you fasten your seatbelts, honey, because you already know we invented shade. Now that was their PSA, here's mine. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know we in a pandemic. You either mask it or casket. You choose to wear one or the other one will choose to wear you permanently. And one more thing, this show is intended for grown folks because best believe we go all the way there. So I suggest you put the kiddies to bed or set them down in front of Disney Plus, grab your ribs and a cocktail, baby, and enjoy what we done cooked up for you. Like you, I have been waiting just like everybody else for 15 years to, for so many unanswered questions. The creator, cast, and crew want to thank the show's legion of fans for the past 15 years of dedication, love, and support. We made this for you, baby. Happy 15th anniversary, Noah's Ark. We love you, boo. Happy 15th anniversary, Noah's Ark. We are so elated to have you back. Mwah. Noah? Hey, what are you doing here? I'll see you later. At our usual spot. Usual, usual spot? spot. He's a screenwriter too. It's obvious you like him. Oh. He's straight? I didn't know you hired a new guy. Did you sleep with him? I haven't slept with him, and I won't. I got $20 that you won't make it to the end of the week. I am not a sex addict. Am I? Is that a rhetorical question? Well, what's a big deal about dating anyway? It hasn't even been six months for Chance and Eddie, and Chance already gave up his apartment. Don't you think I know our courtship was rapid? But when you know it's right, you just... No. Trey and I have been in a relationship for almost seven years, monogamously, and our relationship is as hot as ever. Your screen name is Big Papa? No. Your man's screen name is Big Papa. Just cyber sex. It's just like interactive porn. It's harmless. If you call cheating harmless... Where do you go to let your hair down? You know I find you sexually enticing, right? What else did he say, Noah? But you know I'm straight, so for anything to happen between us, there has to be a woman involved. I'm an executive at Paramount Studios. 
Wade's writing a script for us. Told Branny how talented you are. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to read some of your stuff. You want to humiliate me some more? You got another girl back there you want me to have sex with? I already apologized. And I stopped it because you were uncomfortable. No, you stopped it because you were uncomfortable. I was doing fine. Cheating on the new husband already? The place is paid up till the end of the month. Chance, you've been living with Eddie less than a week. If you're not ready for all this, you've got to tell Eddie. Tell him now before it's too late. You don't have to break up with him, just say you're not ready to live together. What kind of party is this? Another boring retirement party. It's what's the tea? I took Kenya to the sitters. I'm going to track down Eddie. Oh! Eddie, I want to know why. I didn't want to make you feel inadequate by bringing up a need that you obviously can't fulfill. I'm starting my own nonprofit. Guys, this is Junito. He's doing his residency at the county hospital, and he's going to be running our new late night testing program. I'm not the nice, innocent guy you seem to think I am. Kiss me. Brandy? Listen, I read your script tiptoe, and I'm dying to meet with you. We think you're the perfect writer to give it that hip but sensitive edge. This is Wade's script. This is business. I got a writing gig. It's. A rewrite of Bait and Switch. There should be enough supplies to get the testing services started. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, guy. You just surprised my man with a little home cooked casserole. No tea. And when I try to squeeze a little time for myself, the crazy, jealous paranoia comes out. You just broke up with Eddie. Don't tell me you're dating Ice Tea. Tea Money. <laughs> T Money, nigga, you crazy. What are you doing down here? Don't ask, just drive. I don't want that bug around my daughter. It burns you up to think of me kissing another man. Same way it burns you up? Are you all right? I think I'm falling in love. When was your last HIV test? Um, never. So it's likely that I'm HIV positive, and if you don't want to go out with me, I completely understand. I'm positive. Marry me. Well, we're looking for that one idea that's special, all right? With that unique twist. Twist is, they're gay. One's a little hip-hop and thuggish. The other one's kind of queenie. But they really like each other. They play off of each other well. Reality check, Wade. You can't even admit to the realtor that we're a couple. Do you really think you're ready to set up house? You are negative. Like if you want to break up with me because you can't handle the uncertainty of dating somebody HIV positive, just do it. What are you doing here? I'm a friend of Eddie's. What are you doing here? Friend of Chance. Don't you see? It's fate that we're both here. Trades been planned to propose to me all week and take me on a fierce honeymoon. I know what you've been planning. Trey Iverson, will you marry me? Alex, no. I took a position on a relief mission to South Africa. I'll be gone six months. With Guy? Oh, oh, Alex, I don't mind not feeding up on our guests. I'll tell your guests to stop screwing my boyfriend. I don't hate you, Noah. Rockman's got some really exciting ideas to give the script that extra special kick. I think the two gay guys, they should be straight. I am over men, especially women. I mean it, Noah. Take my name off the script and just forget about it. Just forget about you. That's simple. You managed to do it before, didn't you? Speaking of husbands, shouldn't you be preparing for Trey's homecoming? I'll read the helmet. Welcome home, boo! <laughs> Guy's girlfriend broke up with him. I was hoping maybe we can let him stay here until he found a new spot. I don't care how liberal your boss and his wife are, we are still two gay men raising a child. And those wives are probably high society snobs who will be all over everything. I got fired. A little stunt with Vonda cost me my job. Clayton cannot do that to you. Come on, Chance. Because of us, his wife left him for another woman. You and I had nothing yeah, to yeah, do Yeah, yeah, they that. were having an affair already. But I can't blame him if he doesn't want to see my home wrecking face every day. You're coming over for dinner, and that's fine. Oh. Uh, is this Wade and Dre's place? Indeed it is. I know you're a busy man, 
But would you like to catch a cup of coffee? You know what? Sure, baby. Yeah. This kid is the hottest rapper turning actor since Ice Cube. Bottom line, the movie's in trouble. You need to make this work. I wanted to. I wanted to work. No BS. No bogus shows of fearlessness. No fake vows of monogamy that we both know you can't keep. Ah, there you go. Hold on. Uh, hey. Drake, what the hell? Alex, I, not this crap again. You think I'm having an affair with guys? I don't know what is wrong with me. So I just let my insecurities get the best of me. You think you're sorry now? Wait till I take your man, bitch. Get your ass down here. You owe your better half a beer for schmoozing me and giving you your job back. God, what the hell are you doing? Everything Alex said was true. Just give it a chance, baby. I'm sure you'll see. You got 10 minutes to pack and get the hell out of here. Can you ever forgive me for doubting you? These three guys just came out of nowhere and jumped me. I think they were drunk, maybe. I don't know. It really wasn't that bad. Three cracked ribs sound very painful now. I am already organizing a major rally outside the WeHo Sheriff Station. I'd make a bad martyr. I really don't want to be the poster child for gay bashing. I need you to have justice. It's important for you. For me? Or for you? Janito. Yeah. Why haven't you fooled around with anyone else since we've been dating? Because I haven't wanted to. Just in case you did want to, I went online and arranged a date for you. I can't believe this. What, that I made a connection with a guy that you arranged for me to meet? No. That there's a beach full of hot guys back there, and I'm out here obsessing with a stupid, tedious relationship. I feel like I'm in prison, for Christ's sake. Well, it looks like you just made parole. If I ever meant anything to you at all, you'll get your black ass in the car. What's wrong with that? Who says something's wrong? Brandon. Eddie, Brandon has a crush on me. Of course he'd say that. Are your husband and your daughter just window dressing for your intellectual vocation? If that's it, then this marriage would never work because I need for us to be your center. I want a divorce. There he is. Hi, OJ. How's my little Zulu warrior? Noah! What the fuck is going on, guys? I've always wondered what all the fuss is about. What makes him so crazy about you? Between me and you, I always wonder what the fuss was about you. Girl, my marriage is a shitty mess. Sometimes I hear the way I talk to him as he's looking at his face. I'm powerless to stop doing what I'm doing. It's gonna take more than love to save the day. But if love won't save it? What will? He's gonna try harder. I don't get it. Why would my best friend feel the need to add my fiance to the endless parade of tricks he's collected all weekend? I needed to know why. Why what? Why him? I love you, not as a friend or as a girlfriend. More than that, and the words burn in my mouth because I know you don't love me. I slept with Brandon. I know. For me, the life of the mind has always come first, but I don't want a life with anyone but you. Can we make a vow to make what we have between us an adventure? To say yes to everything remarkable and amazing. To be always rebuilding the temple. To be always rebuilding the temple. When I first saw you, it wasn't love at first sight. You were intriguing, fascinating, remarkable. But you were straight. Or so I thought. Or so you thought. <laughs> but my love for you grew quiet more. Just past the corner of my eye, watered by time and tears and kisses. And now, with the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and husband. Here's the deal. Noah's Ark started it for all of us. I'm so grateful to Patrick, the cast, the crew, and everybody involved in this groundbreaking show. Without them, there is no any of us. Thank you, Patrick, for being the first through the wall. I know you took a lot of bruises, you took a lot of hits but I'm sure there are wounds that you're proud of. Thank you for being unafraid. Thank you for being bold. Thank you for being black as fuck and gay as fuck. It's important. And I'm glad to carry on the legacy and I'm honored to be making art alongside of you. 
this show was revolutionary for many reasons, and it was particularly special to me for a lot of reasons. So glad you're keeping the party going, and uh, I hope you all enjoy more Noah's Ark. So without further ado, I'm proud to present Noah's Ark, The Rona Chronicles. Hey, Gert, can you see me? Yeah, I'll see you. Okay, so the dress code for this party is extra fabulous. Damn, bitch, where you at? I'm changing. Oh, why are you getting all guzzled up for anyway in the middle of a shutdown? It's important to maintain some semblance of normalcy even in the midst of a pandemic. And I miss playing dress up. Ooh, uh-uh. A chop. So what is this party for anyway? I have an announcement to make. Why keep a bitch in suspense? Don't tip my tummy and tell me it's raining. What's the tea? I want to tell all you guys together. Okay, what's going on with Wade? Don't mention that name to me. I guess she's still mad. I mean, girl, I would be mad too. I just don't understand why Wade would do something so stupid. And then with three other guys? Whoop, just nasty. Can we please not talk about him? Why you think I wanna lay up in here looking at you trying on clothes anyway? She thinks she is so cute. You ain't cute. Old lad. Ooh, now that's cute. Ugh, oh, that's weird. Hold on, girl, I'll put you on mute. Be nice, girl. What do you want, Wade? For you to be reasonable? You think I'm being unreasonable? Yes! So it's my fault? You did what you did? Nigga, actions have consequences. No, uh, come on, baby. Don't you think you're taking this shit too far? <sighs> Look, I'm not going back and forth with you. Beg all you want. My mind is made up. This is some straight up bullshit. Damn, bitch. After what he did, he deserves it. Ooh, is that your wedding dress? Doesn't fit anymore. Yes, very Carrie Bradshaw tea. You better work me. Okay, you go get dressed. I'm gonna shave off this quarantine bush and I'll see you at the party. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. If you love someone, you better tell them now. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're in a throuple with Trey Songs and Usher. They both realize that singing in falsetto isn't a personality trait and decide to break up. Who gets custody of your pussy? Usher. Michael B. Jordan rushes into the room. He says, Usher drugged you so he could give you herpes. Usher says, Michael B. lying that his herpes was cured years ago. Who would you rather? Black Panther, please. Still Usher. Uh-uh, Michael B. getting all up in this coochie. You leave with Michael B. Jordan, but are immediately stopped by your ex, Morris Chestnut. Ooh. He says, hey baby, I'm done playing the evil dark skinned nigga in the deer movies. 
Let's get back together. Do you get that chestnut? Or do you stay with Michael? Get, get that, that chestnut. chestnut. <laughs> okay, your other ex, Lance Gross, Sweet Jesus. grabs you out of Morris's hands and slams you against the wall. He says, hey baby, I'm done playing an evil dark skit nigga in the deer movies. Let's get back together. Who do you go with, Lance? Or is it Morris all day, every day? Lance. Lance. I'm sticking with Morris. <laughs> Suddenly, Chris Brown jumps out of his cardboard box and says, I heard you like to be choked. Do you say, yes, daddy, I too? Or, move, I'm with Lance. Breezy, cause you know that thing got deep. Alex, you like anything light skin. Exhibit A, your high yellow husband. Ah! But on this one, I'm gonna have to side with you. Chris Brown gets my vote. You should both be ashamed of yourselves. And so should I. Because it is definitely Chris Brown, hands down. Okay. When you get in the car with Chris, he bitch slaps you into a time period before Will Smith made bad movies. Will says he's having a party at his place and if you wanna come, he has to nut on your forehead. Do you tell him, I'd be honored, or I have a nut allergy? Honored, honey, honored. Nut allergy. Chance, you're the tiebreaker. I would be honored to get jiggy with it. <laughs> Gabrielle Union Wade. What's she calling you for? I don't know. I met with her last month about this feature over at Sony, but they went with another writer. Um, okay, okay. Um, carry on, I'll be back. Uh. <clears throat> Gabrielle. Alex, since when do you smoke weed? Since Miss Rona got a bitch stressed the fuck out? A few puffs of this? <laughs> a bitch asleep like a baby. You guys, you're never gonna guess what happened. Gabrielle Union offered you a job. Why else would Ooh. a star actress producer call you? They want me to be the showrunner on a new Netflix series. 10 episodes, Zora Neale Hurston. Showrunner? Go in, Go bitch. in, bitch. Go in. <laughs> When's it gonna shoot? I mean, COVID's got everything on lock. It's gonna be a minute before productions resume. Doesn't matter anyway. I can't take the job. Are you crazy? Why not? There's something you guys don't know. Ricky, what the fuck? Can't you put that thing on silence? What you doing on Jack for anyway? You know good and well you don't like no black boys. Should you be on Grinder or something? For your information, Alex, I'm equal opportunity. I'm on Jacked and Grinder. The pertinent question here is why are you on a hookup app in the middle of a pandemic? Wait, Ricky, you are not still hooking up. I get blowjobs mainly. Ew! And I hit it from the back. Social distancing tea. Social distancing? Your dick is not six feet long. And I wear a mask the whole time. Girl. COVID-19, COVID-19. This quarantine shit is easy for y'all because you're all married. I see his point. What do the lonely do in quarantine? Well, it's not ideal for any of us. Eddie and Kenya are in Florida taking care of his mom and I'm here in Mississippi by myself. Okay. I'm not gonna stop living my life because of some stupid virus. We already did that with HIV. If I listen to y'all, I'd be running around in a full body hazmat suit looking like Naomi Campbell. What's up, fellas? Ugh. Uh, Wade, what's the tea with that outfit? I have been banished to the guest room upstairs for being a dumbass and going to play b-ball with my boys. Idiot. Two of whom came down with the COVID. So until he can get a test, which there ain't none, thanks to the Red Devil in the White House. I have to stay upstairs and wear this every time I come down. How are you two friends doing? Much better, thank God. 
I'm just praying I don't have it. Look, y'all want to tell me why we are here and why I had to dress up in this fabulous ensemble? Alex, that outfit looks like something Dorothy Zubornak would wear to the Children's Hospital Charity Ball. <laughs> We wanted you all to be the first to know we're having a baby. What? <laughs> what? When? I'm How on earth? A baby? How on earth did you pull this off? These last few years working in television, we were finally able to save enough for in vitro fertilization. Wait, who's the mother? We purchased anonymous donor eggs and hired a surrogate. And before you ask, we mixed our material together so we don't know which one of us is the biological father. You kept the secret all this time? We wanted to go through the process privately just in case it didn't take. Oh my God, Noah, you're gonna be a mom. This calls for a toast to Noah and Wade and Baby Makes Three. Blessings to the new young one. Oh. May all their black life be filled with joy and happiness. Hear, hear. So, what's the plan when the baby gets here? I'll take a year off, maybe two, and wait till work. That's why you turned down the- I, I'm not turning down anything. I'm turning up toward the joys of parenthood. Uh, not to be a killjoy, but kids are expensive. And Noah, you make considerably more money. No offense, Wade. Really? None? I was just gonna suggest you might wanna consider downsizing if you're going to considerably lower your income. Why does Noah have to put his career on hold? Just get a nanny. Why don't you just get out of our fucking business? We both feel that one of us should be at home with the baby for at least the first year. I mean, and yeah. regarding yeah. our finances, not that it's any of your business, Wade is up for promotion. Practically a shoe in Right, baby? Well, it must be a big promotion if it's going to compete with the kind of money you make. Guess who just scored a COVID test oh. this week? When it's negative, your ass better be ready because you're getting dicked down. Okay, uh, back upstairs you go. We all adults here? I'm just saying. You better be in your fire. <laughs> because in the words of the great John Witherspoon, it's going to be like, Get bang, the hell bang, out bang. of here, please. Bang, go. Bang. Go. Bang, 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 bang. Man. Girl, please, you know you like all that. I'm just so glad we finally told y'all. It was killing me keeping that secret. Hey, you know, I'm still stuck on you turning down a showrunner job to stay home and change diapers with no guarantee that you're gonna be hot in two years. Beyonce took two years off to have the twins and then gave us lemonade. Some would argue her best work. Must you relate every conversation to a Beyonce anecdote? Yes. yes. So you didn't get the promotion. It's not the end of the world. You don't get it, Dad. I'm supposed to be stepping up to be the breadwinner. The baby isn't even here, and I'm already failing as a father. I don't know how I'm going to tell Noah. Wait, correct me if I'm wrong. But you don't seem as broken up about the job as you do about having to tell Noah you didn't get it. Yeah, well. So let me ask you something. Why couldn't you stay at home with the baby? No, it would, it would break Noah's heart. He wants to be a stay-at-home mom, and he's expecting me to be the man. But aren't you both men? <laughs> now let me see that picture of my grandchild again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. <laughs> that strong Robinson forehead. <laughs> uh... Baby, did I ever thank you? For what? Insisting I take mom out of that nursing home. They had three more deaths there last week. How is she faring being back in her own house? Uh, pretty good. Seems to be helping a lot with her dementia. Is Kenya just hating it? She is such a big city girl. Hi, Daddy uh, Chance. Bye, Daddy Chance. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, I miss her pure wedding through the house. How was the city council meeting? Unbelievable. The daughters of the Confederacy actually argued that if we were going to remove the statue of Nathan Bedford Forrest, that we should remove the one of Vernon Damer as well. Never mind the fact 
that one of them was a Confederate general and a founding member of the Ku Klux Klan, and the other one was a civil rights leader murdered by the KKK for recruiting African Americans to vote. Are they going to remove that statue? No, they're going to leave it up to the voters in November. And how do you think those racist hayseeds are going to vote? It's baffling how they can't see how these monuments to slavery are so offensive. Oh, they see. They are offensive by design to remind us Negroes not to get too uppity. Oh, and the next time someone argues that the United States shouldn't pay reparations for slavery, I am going to remind them that they already did. To the slave owners, $300 for every enslaved person freed. Oh. Have you been protesting with those students? No, I'm too new here. Besides, protesting during a pandemic, it sounds like a super spreader event to me. Chance, stop rationalizing and get involved. Don't be a quietist. Eddie, we don't know how long you're going to be furloughed from your job, and I can't afford to rock the boat and lose this. When my mother was in college, she participated in a lunch counter sit-in. She still trembles when she talks about white people yelling and spitting on her. It was terrifying, but, but she refused to let fear stop her from acting. But aren't I more effective working from within the system? Real change starts from within. Tearing down those damn statues is today's lunch counter. That's all I'm saying. Hey, babe. Rough day in the ICU? Man, every day is rough in here. This virus is relentless. And stupid people want to make not wearing a mask a political statement? Are you serious? This is what I'm dealing with. You got some days off coming up. I got something special for you when you get home. Oh my gosh, baby, you have no idea. I miss you guys so much, it's not even funny. So where's OJ? Not speaking to me. Since I made the mistake of referring to him with the wrong pronoun, child, this whole non-binary, gender non-confirming thing is so damn confusing. He, me, them, they, LGBTQ, ABC, it, it's too much, it's too confusing. Put them on the phone. OJ, your dad's on the phone. OJ! Boy, I know you ain't even talking to you! Do you see what I have to deal with? Yeah, no, listen. Uh, I talked to the child psychologist on duty. She said we should give them their space and make sure they understand that we're open to any ways they want to express their identity. See how easy that was? I know they better watch they goddamn mouth because they yell at me one more again. They gonna find my fist in the back of they phone. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, thank you for making me laugh. I needed that. <laughs> My roommate's gone. Me I'm here on the room alone. I just showered. I was thinking maybe you should come over for a little bit. Give you a hot oil body rub. I need some kind of human connection. It's fucking horny here, dude. Seeing what you're up to tonight. I picked up some Molly. I miss you. Boy, stop playing. You know you want these lips. It's Los Angeles, so it's like really hard to find the top. Do you remember that time when I sucked your dick for so long? I left your house looking like the bitch from the ring, like, uh. <laughs> Let this frivolous thing stop us, you know what I'm saying? It's a virus. You know, it's not a thing. I've been social distancing, using my mask. I promise you, I've been safe. I've been quarantining here at my parents' house. <laughs> I've been quarantined by myself. My ass is lonely as fuck. Come get in these cheeks. I'm just thinking about that fucking dick. Why don't you come over and show me what you made of? Fucking hard thinking about it already. What would you rather do? Would you rather sit on the motherfucking couch all day doing nothing because there ain't shit to do? Or would you rather come sit on this dick? Hmm. You could see what's under here, but you have to come over. Damn! So you know you want to. Stop playing. Come give me what I want. Damn, you're killing me. You trying to get that combo I gave you last time, boy. 
You are nuts, boy. I will let you do nasty shit to me. Why don't you um 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 come over and I will wipe your whole body down with sanitizer. I'll let you do stuff that the other boys won't let you do. Oof. According to the Kinsey scale, if zero straight and six is game, my dude must be at least a three to make me feel some kind of way. Cause me and my bro on the roof, Woo! the child, this is a show. Admit that I'm feeling kind of naughty, probably because my bro is such a hottie, make me feel some kind of way when we hang and blow and shot. Hey, hey, and hey, my bro hey, on the hey, roof, come on here, child, let me slurp on it. That I'm Shake feeling kind of naughty. I can cut a hole out of the screen in my window and we can fuck through the window like glory hole style. Go back six What the fuck you mean you can't come by because of corona? So you mean to tell me I've been shooting one my bubble for three fucking hours to get rejected by a life skit, nigga? You just come on in and uh Find me ass up. Don't slip on the way in. Do you want to get your peanut butter in my chocolate? We can make a Reese's, bruh. <laughs> I love you, daddy. Ew. You're gonna turn me down. Can't do it, dude. Come on. No, seriously. You're not gonna come over? Can't do it, can't risk it. I'm trying to act like you the only piece of ass out there that a nigga can get. If you're that scared, wear a fucking mask then. Jesus Christ, that might be hot, actually. Pretty soon you're gonna be begging for a nigga to come back anyway, bye. Who the person that do that thing you like? You know what I'm talking about, that thing you like right down there. Who does that for you every damn time? And I don't complain and my jaw never gets tired. Not happening. If you don't wanna come, I guess that's, I don't know, your loss. Ooh, Lord, give me strength. I knew she would. No, 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 no. Sorry, dude. I miss you. I can't risk it. Ricky? What a surprise. Hey, Janito. Uh, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? For people living with HIV, keep being you and ask your doctor about Victarvi. Victarvi is a complete one pill, once a day treatment used for HIV in certain adults. It's not a cure, but with one small pill, Victarvi fights HIV to help you get to and stay undetectable. That's when the amount of virus is so low, it cannot be measured by a lab test. Research shows people who take HIV treatment every day and get to and stay undetectable can no longer transmit HIV through sex. Serious side effects can occur, including kidney problems and kidney failure. Rare, life-threatening side effects include a buildup of lactic acid and liver problems. Do not take Victarvi if you take dofetilide or rifampin. Tell your doctor about all the medicines and supplements you take if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have kidney or liver problems, including hepatitis. If you have hepatitis B, do not stop taking Victarvi without talking to your doctor. Common side effects were diarrhea, nausea, and headache. If you're living with HIV, keep loving who you are and ask your doctor if Victarvi is right for you. Brandy? What the fuck, Noah? I just spoke to Gabrielle. You told her you had to think about it? Have you lost your mind? Do you think it was easy convincing the producers and my bosses at the network to hire an upper level writer who's never run a show before? I stuck my neck out and now I'm wondering what in the world will possess you to do something so blatantly stupid? I'm waiting. I can't thank you enough. This is literally my dream job, but having a family is also my dream. My husband and I have been planning this for years. So. Can I think about it and get back to you? A baby? Seriously? Brandy, I know what you're gonna say. Do you? Because I sure don't. <sighs> The one thing I always admired about you gays was the fact that you were spared the messy, time-consuming act of procreating. <laughs>
AKA the death of all things fun. Yeah, yeah. Why on earth you 21st century gays insist on being ordinary is beyond me. But, <laughs> you're not gonna pass up this kind of coin, right? I mean, you know how expensive babies are and you're not that stupid. <laughs> I give up. You have two days to think about this offer. Toodles! Hey! Oh, hey, bitch. What's tea, girl? What's going on, girl? Just reorchestrating the Wiz for high school Zoom production. The show must go on, even in the age of corona. You seen Mama and them? Girl. I took some groceries over there. Mama ain't even barely opening the door. Talk to me through the window like I'm some sort of convict. Child, you know Mrs. Bernadine is not having this corona. Not up in her house. Not this day, okay? <laughs> What daddy doing? Child, sneaking off to play golf. Strolled his ass home to find Bernadine and put the chain on the door. <laughs> Made his ass sleep in the shed. <laughs> Where my nephew at? Child, don't ask me about that damn demon, honey. Getting on my nerd, wearing me out. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I right, bitch. My nephew turn up missing. Don't expect me to give you no head start to get to the border. Wait. Wait, Alice, if OJ now goes by day, them and there, can I still call him my nephew? Them, my nephew? Or does honey, that okay, you see, you see where I am, her. honey. It goes my way over my head. But thank God I got Trey to run the interference. I know you be wearing the shit out of his ass. Honey, he ain't complaining. Why you mad? Because my man love me. Okay. Bitch, that robe cute. Where you get it? Don't worry about it. You ain't getting one. Alice, you stay thinking somebody trying to bite your style. Don't nobody want to dress like you? Shit. You ain't cute. I was just trying to give you a compliment. Oh, thank you, Gert. You welcome, Gert. <laughs> I gotta say, Miss Rona got one thing going for her. She bringing families together. I know, bitch. We talk more during the shutdown than we done done in the last five years. Why you grinning like a possum? Because now when I orchestrate this song, it'll have a whole new meaning. When you bump oh. your shin And you'll know oh. I love you now As I love you ever. Oh, you may be trying sometimes I need you, you're not there First what? My first example of what it means to be a gay black man. And how fabulous it could be. You know, you being you all those years gave me permission to be me. And I don't know if I ever thanked you. So, thank you. Bitch, you making me cry. You know I'm sentimental. <laughs> I love you, Rufus. I love you, too. Let me see that sonogram again. Yep, got that Nicholson nose for sure. <laughs> Do you think I'm a fool? For wanting to stay home? I love being home with you. Your daddy was stationed overseas. We saw him every five months. It was you and me against the world. Did you ever wrestle with the decision? 
Those first few years of bonding with you were everything. You slept in my bed till you were damn near six. I didn't mind sacrificing my career because you were worth it. Uh, as I recall, you were quite bitter about giving up your career. I made sure I knew it. Granted, there was usually drinking involved. I am a social drinker, okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am, you certainly are. Boy, don't you get smart with me. And surely you don't expect Wade to stay home. Ain't he the man in your relationship? We're both men, Mom. Boy, don't get sensitive. I get it. I support your decision to be a stay-at-home mom. You tried it. There's an all-black lives matter pride march on Sunday in Hollywood. You want to come? Shit. We in a Rona risk group. We keeping our black asses in the house. <laughs> Besides, we did enough marching in our day. It's your turn. But if they start looting down at the Target, grab me one of those lamps I saw that white girl run out with on the news. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the news, they love showing black folk looting. Thank God for camera phones and social media, because now white folks ain't getting away with shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got them now. <laughs> they can't do shit. <laughs> Is that my husband or I'm being visited by the ghost of Stokely Carmichael? Guess who just got back from an absolutely epic student protest? Now that's what I'm talking about. If you had told me a year ago that I would be not only the chair of a poli sci department of a college in Mississippi, but also taking part in a social uprising, I would have called you a nutcase. But there I was, out there in the street with all these passionate students chanting and, and, and making speeches in, in front of that damn statue. Y'all should take it down. Who says that we didn't? Oh, ah! shit! You weren't oh. seen, were you? I mean, they're identifying people from social media videos. I, I don't want you to get fired. Oh, no. My mask protected me from the Rona and the racist patriarchy. I don't think I ever loved you more. I love you too. And I miss you. But you gotta come home because I need some dick. Christina, what's going on? Is everything all right? Hey, Noah. It's about this diet plan Wade sent over. It's out of control. Of the things I can't eat, I don't recognize half of them. What the hell is a kohlrabi? And the forbidden list is five pages long. Now, I'm usually pretty healthy, but a bitch has pregnancy cravings like a mug and weighs no candy hole is not gonna fly. I got to have my Reese Big Cup. That's non-negotiable. Between me and you, you can forget Wade's list. As long as you're not doing crack or mainlining heroin, I think we're good. I haven't done crack since the Obamas were in the White House. I'm just kidding. Boy, I ain't had nothing harder than a wine cooler my whole Ooh. life. Think I get this skin off a pipe? This flawless, this flawlessness? Look at it, look at it closer. Mm-hmm. Tired of that Disney princess? You ain't got to worry about me. I mean, I know you're gonna worry because it's your baby, but I got you and I got the baby. I'll treat it like it's mine. Thank you. You good otherwise? Is there anything else you need? Just if you can help me out and keep weight out of my hair. I mean, I know he means well, but he's called me at least 10 times this week. I mean, I know he has all the time in the world to obsess over me and the baby now that he lost that promotion. Lost that on that promotion? Ooh, child. Get your man. Get your man. Yeah, um, well, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. What's up, Noah? Hey, Ricky. I... I wanted to apologize if it came out a little strong the other day. I, you know, I do not judge your sex life one bit. I'm just genuinely concerned for your health. Let me stop you right there. You are my best friend. You don't ever have to apologize about caring. And your nagging worked. I'm getting the test. How? Unless you're coughing up a lung, it's impossible to get one. Ricky, you have some nerve. These tests are for people who are sick, 
who've been exposed to the virus, not irresponsible party boys who can't keep it in their pants. I'm just kidding. Of course I can get you in. I volunteer at a testing site Tuesdays and Thursdays. Consider it done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Junito, eh? Is he still with, what's his name? No, um, they broke up over Christmas. Oh, really? Don't wet your panties. He's the only medical professional I know. I'm just going for the test. Mm-hmm. Hey, anyway, since we're on an apology tour, I'm sorry for coming at you so hard about that job. I'm not gonna pretend to know what the big pull of parenthood is all about, but if staying home with the baby is what you really want, you have my full support. What was that look? What look? You scrunched your face up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. After 20 years, I know what that look means. Is staying home with the baby what you really want? Guess who doesn't have coronavirus? Oh, thank God. You know what time it is, Becky. <laughs> Bye, Ricky. Bye, Ricky. Bang, bang, bang. Now that I got you out of those dirty scrubs, it's time for the main event. Are we making a sex tape? You remember on the BET Awards when Beyonce danced for Terrence Howard? No. What's wrong, baby? Nothing, I just, I'm sorry. <sighs> you know, I sat with an 80-year-old black woman today, and she reminded me so much of my grandmother. I held this woman's hand as she slipped away. When is this gonna end? Like, I don't know how much this I can take. <laughs> Richard Harrison Davis. Thank you so much for these lovely flowers, but you really shouldn't have. All I did was swab the inside of your mouth. <laughs> I wanted to show my appreciation. And you sent me pink peonies because you knew they were my mom's favorite. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> it means a lot. Rose is a hundred dollars. Jeez. Peonies on sale. Score! <laughs> of course I remembered. Thanks again for your help. Well, I don't mean to keep you. You probably have to get back to ICU. Actually, I uh, just got home. So if you want to talk. Okay. People who say just walk away Never been in love Cause you're in So, got any plans after the pandemic? Wear it till it falls apart. You're in a t shirt. What do you have in mind? The only thing that fits my heart. Sometimes I want to cut you at the neck. I know I said the only thing that I wanted for my birthday this year was a baby. Mm -hmm. But I can't help but notice that container on the table. 
So, is it time for my gift? Okay, fine, you big old kid. Wayne's about to open his gift. Is this what I think it is? Open it. Kelly Kate? <laughs> oh my God. Kelly Kate? What that is? The black guy who won Cake Wars. Wade is inexplicably obsessed with that show. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Wade. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Wade. Happy birthday, Wade. Okay, baby, there's something I need to talk to you about, and I don't think I can wait. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about as well. Oh, well, it's your birthday. You should go first. No, you go first. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. Oh, no, my you. God. Why you go you already? Please go first. I, I don't want to stay home, home with, with the, the baby. baby. I know we talked about you not working, but... No, no, no. I've been having second thoughts, too. What changed your mind? Well, after being married 10 years, you just naturally know what your boo wants. Look, Wade, Nora got offered a job and the money is ridiculous. And he is going to take that job. And you're going to stay home with the baby. And that's all there is to it. Capiche? You got it? They told you, didn't they? You know I can't keep no secrets. Well, I think this is a resolution that deserves a toast. To Noah and Wade and their life ahead. Here, here, Noah, Noah and Wade. Wade. Mm. Fuck. What's wrong? Another black man murdered. Shot in the back in a Wendy's parking lot in Atlanta. What's this one's name? Rayshard Brooks. Rayshard Brooks. Brooks. Are we crazy for bringing another black child into this fucked up world? Not if we change the world. 